everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? I am finally going to be doing a houseplant tour for you. So today I am going to be doing the downstairs of the house, so the living room um, and the few plants that I have in the kitchen. Um, and then either next week or the week after, I haven't decided how I'm gonna sort of put it out there. Um, but I will do another houseplant tour of the upstairs, so my bedroom and the few plants that I have in the bathroom. Um, mainly because there are so many plants downstairs and upstairs as well like my bedroom's getting quite full now that I didn't want to make the video like ridiculously long um and I know how much people love houseplant tours so I thought why not split it into two so I hope you enjoy my video today so this is my houseplant tour of the downstairs <laughs> I thought that we would start over here. Now, obviously I've done a tour of my living room a little while ago. However, I thought it would be quite a good idea to do another one because it has been at least six months um, and my plant decoration slash a lot of the actual plants have changed since then. So yeah, we will start over here with the dragon tree or the um, Dracaeana Maginata here. So yeah, I've just turned this round because it was leaning a little bit in towards the light. So that's why it's now leaning in the opposite direction. Um, but yeah, so that's the dragon tree there looking really lovely i've just got it on this little stand um in this beautiful basket so yeah it just gives it a little bit of height really and also sort of fits in with my decor still um then moving on i've got this um lovely satin pothos here or the more common name for it i'm just going to check on the label here because i always forget it skindaptus pictus argerius is this one um i do normally have another skindaptus pictus um up in the window here but unfortunately that's currently um got mealybugs um uh, it's uh i think it's skinned up to speak to trevi i believe um but i will show you that when we do the upstairs haul, um video at a later date because that's currently being treated in my bathroom so yeah that normally lives up here but yeah so coming back round um so that guy just sort of hangs here i do find with the satin pothos that the leaves are a lot smaller um obviously it gets loads of light so there's no reason why they should be any smaller than what they're meant to be um so i think this is just a smaller form of leaf really um i have trimmed it back and tried to get it to grow bigger leaves and they've just come through even smaller so if anyone knows how i can do that without putting it on a pole then please let me know um if not then yeah i might just have to put it on a pole so we will see how we get on um then coming down to the window here i've got my beautiful hoya crinkle eight now the leaves on this are getting quite light and I think it might be because of the situation that it's in in the window here. They were quite dark when I first got them. Um, now this guy has been through a lot of mealybug treatment. Um, it is finally mealybug free and it has been mealybug free for quite some time now, which is fantastic. Um, and all of this here is new growth that you can probably see coming through up here and the same up the top here. And I actually think, as you can see, it's coming through like a little bit ready. So I think it's actually getting slightly sun stressed from being in the window here, which is quite cool. Um, I have actually just turned it around and rotated it so that I get some more sun to the front here to try and get this to grow a little bit, which as you can see, there is some growth coming through. So that's quite exciting. And it looks quite nice in the window here actually with the other plants. Um, so yeah, that's looking quite good. Um, moving on, I've then just got some cuttings here. It's quite a good, um, yeah, a good place to have my cuttings. And so what have I got? Um, some of these are growing quite slow. Some of them are doing really well. So let's start with this guy here. So this is my variegated syngonium cutting. This was the top cutting that I took. The rest of them are in moss, which I'll show you shortly. But I decided to put the top cutting in water because I wanted to see how it did. Um, and although the leaves are dying off slightly, which I kind of expected, especially the white variegation sections, the roots are coming through really nicely, so, and it's working. So I'm not too worried. I mean, there is a new leaf coming through there as well, which is great. So it should grow quite nicely. Um, but yeah, so that's one of my many cuttings at the moment. Um, I've then got, this is a reverted um, pink princess. So this is philodendron pink princess sorry i couldn't think of it then i was trying to think of what kind it is um so this was just part of a bundle that i got um it's actually got a little bit of algae green algae build up for some reason this one gets it really bad and i changed the water weekly so i don't really know why it's done that um so i will give it another clean but this has been in water for months now and it's only recently started growing roots but at least it is finally growing roots so that's great um and the same here with this guy as well um 
yeah is, is it a philodendron silver sword i think yeah so um it actually looks i'm actually just slightly concerned as to whether i don't think you can see it in this i thought that it looks like there's some like a little bit of webbing there but i actually think it might just be dust because i can't see any movement oh no there is a little bit i don't know if you can see can you see those guys just oh god it's gonna let me do that just there, they are um, moving around. I think it might have spider mites. Not good, let's just move that there for now then and we will have a look at that in a minute. Hopefully it's just that one. Um, I did think it was looking quite sad on the leaves to be honest, but sometimes when you've got things in water propagation, they're just like that. So, but I will look at that um, and we will just treat it. It won't be hard to treat obviously because it's just a few leaves. Yeah, that definitely does have spider mites. I can actually see them moving now. But yeah, that's fine. We can get that sorted, not a problem. I've dealt with spider mites before, so it is all good. Um, I'm hoping they haven't gone onto this guy as well, because that would be very sad. But I will just check and probably do a little basic treatment on all of these little cluster here. Um, because yeah, that is not good. Um, however, <laughs> this here is a... Um, Raphidophora tetrasperma. I forgot the name of it for a second there. But yeah, so this is the Raphidophora tetrasperma. Um, I got this as a cutting as part of a bundle. So these three here came in a bundle together um, as just cuttings for £10 for all three of them. So I thought that was quite good. Um, and as you can see, this guy is absolutely thriving. So he's got ridiculous roots, which are doing really well. Um, and yeah, he's chucked out loads of new leaves. Now they are coming out as quite small, um, but I am planning on putting him on a pole. So, yeah, I'm going to get him potted up soon and put on a pole properly because, yeah, those roots are getting way long now. Um, but I was quite keen to see how well he grew in water, but unfortunately they are getting a little bit small. So, just pop him back down without knocking him over. But, yeah, so I will probably um, get that one done. Then coming along, I've just got this cactus here, which started out really small and is now getting really tall which i think is fantastic um the smaller one leaf just down leaf stem whatever you call it on a cactus just there unfortunately has died off but the rest of them are doing really well and i really like the color of it it's got that kind of bluey gray color which is quite cool i'm not sure of the name of the cactus unfortunately um but yeah so do let me know if you do know the name maybe leave it in the comments down below would be fantastic um, but yeah, so then going on to the next one, got my variegated um, Monstera. Now, what I thought was going to be a leaf, which I did actually talk about in a video just here, I believe is actually just a root, um, which isn't great. But yeah, so hopefully that's actually going to do something soon, like grow a leaf or something. Um, but my cutting that I took from it is doing really well. So I'll show you that shortly. Um, but yeah, so that's the variegated Monstera in the window there. And then just coming up here, I have got this guy, which is, completely forgot the name of it. I want to say a type of Peperomia, but I can't for the life of me remember which one. And it doesn't say, so I will have to look into that. Um, but I will pop all the names of these in the list down below in order of how I'm talking about them today. Um, so yeah, so because I'm not going to remember all of the names of all of them as I'm going around, unfortunately. Um, it's just impossible for my mind to pick on that quick. <laughs> so yeah, but that one looks lovely up there and it's actually starting to get some really nice growth and it's quite enjoying the window there as well. So that's that. So then we move on to the shelf. Now, I'm not necessarily going to go 100% through every single plant because we will be here for a long time. But just quickly skimming through. We've got this peperomia here, which is doing quite well. Um, yeah, enjoying it there. Looking very pretty. Um, an aloe vera at the top there. Then got another type of variegated peperomia. Um, got loads of new growth coming through, actually. Um, and this one here has got some darker um, variegation on it, which is quite nice. But yeah, so that's doing quite well now. Um, it did go through a bit of a bad stage of... Basically, I neglected it a little bit, but um, yeah, I've managed to sort it out and bring it back to life and sort of figure out what it needs now. So that's great. Then coming down to my Brazil. Now, I cut this back a little while ago, as you can see here. So I cut it there and already it's got loads of new growth coming through. Um, it's coming through much bigger than it did before. However, some of it is still quite small. So I might try and get this put in the window up here. 
um, for the time being, maybe. Um, it will free up a little bit of space on the shelf as well. And it might just enjoy the extra bit of light. But we shall see. But I really like it and I think it looks really cool. Um, and I might in the future take some cuttings of that and get a pole on the go. Um, but I'm quite wary of having too many plants climbing up poles. So we shall see. Um, <laughs> then coming down, I've got this um, philodendron birkin at the back here, which just needs a little bit of a rotation, I think. So I just sort of tend to rotate that round. And what I do is I tend to prop up the leaves on the back wall there when I do. And it just keeps it growing upwards because otherwise I find that it fans out massively. Um, and I just don't have the space for that here. So, yeah. Um, then I've got my, um, yeah, I've got my, is it philodendron Brazil? at the back there which is looking really pretty um it has got a finally a new leaf coming through um however the new leaf is quite small so i'll be quite interested to see how this guy carries on um i thought it was in quite a good light situation there really because you've got the window right here but maybe it's still a bit dark for it i don't know um but i have just recently upped the watering on that one because i was concerned that i wasn't watering it enough so hopefully that will help we've then got this pet I can always can never remember the name of this. Pilia, 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 here. <laughs> um, just the normal one. Um, unfortunately, some of the bottom leaves, I'd really find that the bottom leaves really drop on this really quickly as soon as new ones start coming through. Let me know if anyone else gets the same issue. Um, it looks like there's quite a good new bit of growth coming through in the middle. And I've actually got a new little baby Ooh, coming through at the side here as well, which is cool. But yeah, let me know if you get the same issue. You see how these are really yellowing off? Um, and I don't think it's a light issue because it's not actually that close to the window. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you think it is light, then let me know and I can always try a darker situation. I've then got um, a string of pearls here. I just keep cutting off and adding back into this really to try and make it a bit more full. Um, and I would really like to get a nice hang on this. Um, I've got one upstairs that's doing quite well as well. So I'll show you that one in my other tour. And then the last one on the shelf is my beautiful Calathea White Fusion, which, you know, I got this when it was really small. I did actually do an unboxing video, but I'm actually kind of glad that I did because it gave me chance to really learn how to deal with it as it's, while it's growing up. Um, so I have to rotate this one quite regularly um, because it does really start to move in the opposite direction. But yeah, I mean, look at the new leaves that have been coming through on this. Absolutely stunning. And it's growing so quickly and so well. Um, I actually might... It's just starting to get a few roots showing at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I might need to look at potting that upper size soon. Coming down, I've just got my little spray bottle there as well, look, which I do use, but it also just looks pretty on um, display there. So then just coming down, um, last shelf over here, I've got my staghorn fern here, which wasn't doing very well, um, but since I've moved it over here, it's got some new growth coming through. She, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a new growth point just under there and a new growth point here as well and I think another one at the back there if you can see so yeah that is doing a lot better here um some plants just really do enjoy the light um it then just gets a little bit tricky when you get closer to winter because they don't get as much but hopefully they'll just go dormant and it'll be okay so we then have um just some cuttings here from my monstera adansonii which is great um the leaf under here is looking quite sad and I don't really know why because it is, it has got roots growing um, and it is doing quite well. I don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, the roots are really doing quite well. So they could probably get potted up soon. My plan is to um, actually just add some of them back into my um, bigger plant over here so that I can get a more fuller plant as it climbs up the pole there because I love that plant there. I think it looks great. Um, but I might also just pop maybe one or two up for sale and see if anyone else wants some. Um, we'll see. And then, yeah, I've got my beautiful um, Enjoy over here, which looks fantastic. He's doing quite well. He needs a little bit of a clean. Some of his leaves are looking a little bit dusty. don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, he's doing really well. Um, got a nice bit of growth coming through still. Really enjoying this situation. And once again, he is also one that needs to be turned around every now and again. So apologies, because I'm going to be turning around all my plants today whilst we're chatting. chatting. Um, so as you can see now, it's leaning right over. So yeah, they will just turn around in the next day or two, which is great. Um, right, so that is that shelf there. As you can see, that's quite a lot of plants on there, but it's just such a fantastic situation with that window that it really does look great. 
So coming round to near my TV, I've got my um, variegated syngonium. Now I cut this back. I don't know if you watched my propagation video for this. Sorry to move a bit closer. Um, but I actually cut this back and yeah, was looking for some new growth coming through. So this here is the new growth, growth that's come through. And it is a completely white leaf, which is actually more of a yellow leaf at the moment, um, which is not great because obviously that's going to die really soon. So I think what I'm probably, I might, I'm going to leave it and just see how it plays out. But I think what I'm going to have to do is cut it right back to maybe a bit further down where it's more um, mixed variegation on the stem. Or maybe cut it so it sits above this one because this one's got some nice mixed variegation in the the stem here so hopefully that will grow out okay but I wasn't actually expecting it to grow from the joint there I was expecting it to come from the other side so I was quite surprised to see it coming from there because if it came from the other side it actually probably would have had that green in it but anyway still a beautiful plant and after chopping it back you know it's still doing really well and looking nice and healthy so I am very happy with that and yeah just check the soil there it probably needs a little bit of a water soon but nothing too major I've got this little madam here nudging at my feet while I'm trying to film. Bless her. <laughs> as soon as I start to film, they come out. They really enjoy um, showing up to the camera, I think. So then going up to the top here, so we've got my um, string of hearts here, my variegated string of hearts, which, as you can see, is just doing so well. It's getting really long again. I've cut this back probably about two or three times now. Um, and as you can see here, this is the new stuff that I've repotted back into it. So the sides are all, yeah, the new stuff that's coming through. And it's actually doing really well. I've got loads of new growth on it. So yeah, that there is my string of hearts. As you can see, it's got some quite nice pinky bits underneath as well. So doing really cool. Um, oh, I forgot to say as well, actually, that I do have this um, lovely guy here. Now, it's a type of cacti, I think. Um... I don't know anything else about it, but it looks really great and it's actually starting to really fill out and I think I need to repot it or at least take some of the sections off and repot them. But I really like it like this and I think it looks really cool. So I'm just kind of hoping that it holds up enough for a little while um, because I don't really have a whole lot of... Because oh, I don't really have a whole lot of room for new plants. So, but yeah, he looks very cool there. So yeah, sorry, coming back up. So I've then got another little cacti here. Um, I really don't know anything about cacti and I probably should start learning. But once again, really cute. This guy, now unfortunately the stuff up on the shelf really does ne get neglected and I don't know why. I just always forget to water them. Um, I never forget to water my string of hearts because I think I just, obviously I love it and I'm obsessed with it. So I think that's why. Um, but these over here I really do. So this is a jade plant. Um, and it really needs water. It looks really dry. So I really need to come back around and do that. Then I've got this. Um, it's another type of jade plant. Um, I believe oh, from the succulent family. But yeah, so that once again needs a water. Um, and the same up here. So I think that these two here are the same type of plant. They're just slightly different um, sizing and things. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Um, but that's it for my hexagon shelves up there. Coming round, I've then got my huge Monstera. Now I'm thinking about moving this into my bedroom. Huh. Just noticed, can you see this? It almost looks like something's tried to take a bite out of it, which is ridiculous. Yeah, interesting. I might have to keep an eye on that because I don't actually know where that's come from. I might have to ask my partner if something's happened because... That's a shame. Or maybe the leaf just bent. I don't know. But that's really weird. Um, but anyway, yeah. So this guy coming down here. Absolutely huge. Let me step back a bit. He's really enjoying being here next to this grow light. Um, however, I am thinking about moving him closer to... Um, moving him upstairs, sorry, in the corner of my bedroom. Um, because I'm ordering a new grow light today hopefully um which is going to go upstairs so I might yeah I might put him up there because he's huge um and as you can see that area of the room is already really busy with the shelf and I think that this just sort of makes it a little bit too busy for me so yeah I might move that plant but we'll see how we get on um Stitch down here is deciding to chuck all of his toys out of his house he's clearly not very happy about the fact that there's no room what are you doing Dalian hmm 
you say hello? <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to go on to the grow light now. Um, I might need to turn this grow light on and off in a minute, sorry, because I'm not going to be able to film overly well. But as you can see, there's a couple of empty spots up the top here. And that's because two other of my plants have mealybugs. So this is what I mean. I seem to get like really odd plants here and there that have it. So I just kind of am treating them as they go at the moment, keeping an eye on the plants that are around it and really hoping that things aren't spreading too bad. So we shall see. But that was my, um, I think my Hoya Retusa, which lived over this side, and my Hoya Compactor, which is the one that I really did not want to get mealybugs because they go into all the little crevices. And obviously with a Compactor, the leaves really curl up. Um, that is obviously upstairs in my bathroom. So I'm sure that will still be up there when we do the the plant tour next week um so i can show you that one and how we're getting on with it but it was doing so well under here and it was growing really nicely so i'm really hoping that i managed to catch that in time um but over here i have my beautiful hoya crimson queen um now if i could just try and get in behind this leaf here and show you all the new growth over here if you follow me on instagram i actually did a post of this guy a little while ago you can see how healthy that new growth looks through there look um and this one here as well it's looking absolutely stunning it does however need a clean because it's getting quite dusty but yeah stunning i mean look at that pink leaf it's actually ridiculous i'm so so happy with that pink leaf i just love it and there's also one up here as well that i wanted to show you that pink leaf there so yeah really gorgeous um but yeah, love it lots. Um, various, oh, I'm going to turn that light off because it's going to start, keep, carry on doing that otherwise. Let's just show you that pink leaf again when you can actually see it properly. There we are. Um, and yeah, once again, loads of nice growth coming through here as well. And really nice white variegation on some of these, um, you know, including that one there. And once again, more white variegation down there as well. So yeah, it's doing really well. Um, coming to the back here, I've got a few cuttings and things that I've got from friends and stuff recently. So I've got this one here, which is a string of dolphins, which I'm really excited about. And this one here, which I think is a string of bananas, because it really bends over at the ends here, look, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, that is a cutting from my Brazil. More Brazil cuttings. What have we got here? No, that is cuttings. That's a cutting from my, um, that's more Brazil cuttings in the middle here. But obviously it's going a bit yellowy where they're quite close underneath the grow light here. But this here is a cutting from my Marble Queen, sorry. Yes, yeah, so they're cuttings from my Marble Queen. Now it does look like I've got two very different types of Marble Queens there. That one's there is much more marbly and this one here looks much more like an Enjoy. So I'm not 100% sure there, but be quite interesting to find out what happens with that. Then coming over here, I've got my Hoya. I think this is just a normal Hoya reducer, but let me know if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, he's doing really well. I'll just turn it around again there because of the, um, so the grow light's just here. So that everything on this shelf does sit really close to it, but Hoyas love it. If you want your Hoya to really do something special, then yeah, chuck it under. Um, I'm getting the really nice red coming through on this now. Um, from the sunkissed look which I love um, but yeah it's doing really well and obviously this vine here is coming right out so clearly loves it this is a string of tears I think because it's they go a little bit longer than a string of pearls um, and it's got this beautiful flower that's come out which is really exciting so yeah he's doing really well there um coming down I'm sorry this is going on a bit but you know I do have a lot of plants we are getting there I promise um we're definitely at least at the halfway mark now <laughs> so this one here actually is sitting you know on the second shelf down now so we're at the second shelf this one's actually doing really well this is my string of turtles and I don't know if you can see all of this at the bottom all the smaller um ones here now from what I'm aware the smaller um leaves that grow through do end up growing bigger but it's just absolutely nuts how much growth has grown on this thing in the last few months. It's crazy, but yeah, it looks beautiful and I love it. Um, I've just got to keep up with the watering because it's actually really hard to get in here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I mean, this this whole thing is just a massive pile of string of turtles. So it's quite hard to get in there. Um, 
I'm just going to get this one out to show you because it's actually doing some really cool stuff. So this is my, I want to say my Stramanthi Trio Star. I think it's a Stramanthi and not a Calathea, I think. Um, but I don't know if you can see, but I've got, let's pop it over here. I've got new growth coming through there. New growth coming through there. New growth coming through there. And new growth coming through here. So, yeah, doing really, really well. And the new leaves are actually going through nice, quite nicely. It looks quite green on there. Um, so it'd be quite interesting to see what colour that actually comes to. But that is a new leaf, so it might just be coming out quite green. I'm hoping that that variegation will turn a bit more whiter. But, yeah, really cool. And it's doing really well. Um, these guys, what I've noticed is they really like having nice, clean leaves. So if you do have them and you're trying to get them to grow nicely... Obviously, quite near some bright light and, yeah, some nice clean leaves and it will love it. With a, quite a lot of water as well, actually. It doesn't like to dry out too much. But, yeah, he's doing well. Now we come on to my Monstera variegated. So, this guy is one that I... So, it's a bit dark over there because I've turned the grow light off. So, I'm just going to come over here. But this is the one that I took a cutting off my other one. So I literally took this little cutting. I've been through this a couple of times now on other videos. So I apologise if you already heard it. Um, and potted it up. And then this beautiful leaf was the first one out with really nice variegation. And now this is the newest leaf to come out. So I'm waiting for this to obviously harden off. And then you should actually be able to see some nice variegation on there when it does. It looks really good. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that to carry on. Um, and it seems to be enjoying the position there as well, um, underneath the, the grow light there. Coming on to the other side, I've got my um, Crimson, um, Hoya Crimson Princess. So, now, I'm not really sure what this is doing. Now, it's been growing quite well, and as you can see, it's got some really nice leaves coming through. Nice pinks on it. Um, the Princess, you do get the very pale pinks and whites, um, quite similar to the queen however the um these do come through quite pale that is probably the pinkest leaf that i have and obviously that's still quite a pale pink whereas the trio um uh, the tricolor sorry will come through with some really vibrant pinks and stuff so that's kind of how you tell the difference it depends on the variegation that you're getting as to the differences with this plant i find um and as for the differences between this and the queen the queen has obviously got this really nice dark green in the middle and all the variegation and everything is on the outside whereas this is the opposite so this has paler green um leaves i tend to find and it has the variegation in the middle of the leaf rather than on the outside so yeah he's deciding to be very noisy and naughty down there next to his toilet Honestly, it's like as soon as I start to film. Do you want me to just pull that out for you? Is that better? Okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. But yeah, um, but the only thing is, is that there's a bit of a funny leaf going on here. So I don't really know what these guys are doing, but they're all green. So we shall see. At the end of the day, it's growing and it's healthy. So I'm quite happy. Um, this here is just another peperomia. Um, I can't remember the name of it again, so I do apologise. But I will make sure it's in the description for you. Um, and then my one of my stars of my collection, I love it, is this beautiful um, Alocasia Dragon Scale. Sorry, I definitely forgot the name of it then. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about this one. Um, the leaf, one of the big leaves, the smaller leaves on it has recently died. Um, this guy got damaged. However... The two newer leaves, this is one of the newer leaves, obviously it will harden off like this one. They're just doing so well. Look how beautiful that is. And just look at that red veining underneath. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, really, really beautiful. Um, and it's actually got another new growth point coming through there. So we're very excited to see what's going on with that one. And then just quickly coming down, I've got a curly spider plant there which once again thriving really loving the light um it's got a few little babies and things on it another peperomia i think there um once again i will put the name of it down in the comments for you i'm really sorry i haven't got the names of all of them um this is another type of dressiana here which is doing really well it does actually look like it needs a bit of a water yeah so i will be watering um 
tomorrow i've got a water scheduled in so i'll go around and do all of that then um aloe vera back here which wasn't doing very well at all i then put it underneath this grow light and it's had like loads of shoots here loads of new shoots coming through down here so it's suddenly going wild so i'm just popping it in the corner there and letting it do its thing um but i might rotate that and then the last thing in this section are these guys so these are my variegated um syngonium cuttings they're doing really well um i'm not going to go into showing you all the roots and everything but they are doing really well got some nice roots and stuff growing on them um and one of them i think it's that one there is actually in an auction um not an auction a charity um thing that abby bloom and I can't remember the name of the other guy that's involved in it. But if you go over to Abby Bloom's um, Instagram page, it's got all, all on there for the competition and everything. So do check that out. Um, one of those is up for grabs as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's for a really great cause. Um, so yeah, I've donated that for that one. Um, but the others will be put back into this guy here. Um, and I've actually looked, looking at selling one or two of them to a few people near me that would like them. So yeah, quite looking forward to that. This guy here, I love him. I love where he's situated. Let me just get up so I can move back. I love where he's situated down the side of this. I think he looks great. He's really making his way up this pole now. Um, so yeah, got some good good bits up here. Um, it's struggling to actually connect to the pole, but I'm not too worried. Um, and it's also started to chuck out. This here is the third stem, which finishes here. Um, but yeah, he's started to grow as well, which is fantastic. So he's just growing up the pole at the moment and doing his thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that's going to fill in a little bit here. And then, yeah, maybe one or two other cuttings down there might just really help to fill that in. Um, but that is my Monsteria Adansonii. I'm really happy. Um, this here is my Calathea... Can't remember the name of it. Canathia rattlesnake. I think. Once again, check down below for the names. But yeah, Canathia rattlesnake, I think. Um, doing really well. It's just starting to get a new growth point come through here, which I noticed yesterday uh, because it hasn't been growing for a little while. And yeah. That is really exciting because I was getting a little bit concerned because I'd had no new growth from it at all. I mean, none of the leaves were dying or anything, but they just had no new growth. So I'm quite happy that that's happening. Um, coming up here, I don't really know what these guys are doing. Um, some of the leaves seem to be moving inwards a little bit, but it's still got new growth coming through. So not too worried. Um, this is called an Arancina palm, I believe. But yeah, the leaves are just really drooping over. Um, so they're not, not ideal. I potted it a really little while ago, hoping that that would stop and it hasn't. So if you've got any tips of how to stop it doing that, let me know. But that's kind of why it's up in this corner, really. Um, I've then got this Monstera here. Um, I can't remember the full name of it, but it is a type of Monstera. Um, it's just got a dead leaf there. That's obviously been broken at some point. But yeah, he's doing pretty well. I really like the size of the leaves on this guy. Um, and he's starting to, you know, get a nice bit of growth going on. Oh, So yeah, that's quite cool. He's going for it, climbing along, doing his own thing. I quite like it to just leave, leave plants to do their own thing sometimes and get a bit of growth on the go. Um, we've then got my ivy down here. Now he wasn't doing very well. Sorry, the rabbits are chucking things around. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yes, yeah, so he wasn't doing overly well, um, and I had to cut him back a bit. And then recently, as you can see, he's doing, he's quite happy now. He's got some nice bits coming through, but I don't think I was giving him enough water. Uh, my umbrella plant down here, really slow grower, by the way, to anyone that has one of these. Let me know if you think the same. It might be that it doesn't quite get enough light over here, I'm not sure. Um, but let me know your thoughts. And then I've got my... Um, Fiddly fig here, once again, quite a small one. Um, it does actually need watering, I think. Oh no, it's quite moist, it's not too bad. Um, he's starting to lean into the light, so let's just give him a turn. Um, but yeah, he's, I mean, he's doing well. I got him quite small. Um, but yeah, I'm yet to actually get, I think that was a new leaf. But other than that, that's it. And I've had him since last summer. 
so almost a year now so yeah let me know um if you have any fiddly fig tips um my one upstairs isn't doing too badly but he does get better light so maybe that's what it is then got my fern here now i wasn't very good with ferns at all for a long time and i've recently discovered the trick that they just love water so yeah so as you can see there is actually a new one coming out here um and there were some other new bits but i can't see them now so yeah but i might cut that back a bit um and i've just got to keep on top of the watering but it doesn't look good i am aware of that but you know we can't all be perfect with every plant so sometimes you do get a few that just need a bit of attention um the last one in this room up here is my golden pothos um doing really well once again love it um it's sort of making its own way up here doing its own thing i did have it connected up at the wall there this one's come down but it seems to still be going in that direction so that's fine as long as it doesn't fall in front of the door we're good so yeah that's doing really nicely up there really liking it um it's recently had a water so it's nice and perky um but i tend to with this guy notice quite quickly when it needs a good water because it really does droop <laughs> right i'm aware of how much time i'm taking up so i'm just going to quickly shoot through here and just show you the last few plants in here really so we're in the kitchen now so this is my marvel queen that i was talking about um so yeah it's got some quite unusual marbling on this one um i can't remember which cutting came from which but yeah as you can see like it is much more patchy like variegated and marbly rather than just marbly whereas my one upstairs is much more marbly so let me know if there's more than one type really um there might be it might be that i've got two different types here i'm not sure but yeah um then in the window here is where i tend to keep like some cuttings and just kind of random bits and bobs um this is a banana tree that my partner was growing at work um and he's bought it home in that's why it's in this random little plastic tub um so yeah he we're trying to keep him watered, but he's come from a really bright window at my partner's work in his kitchen. So, but he's got loads of new babies coming through. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So yeah, my partner's obviously off work for the summer. So that's why that's come home. Um, but we're hoping to grow it up and then it can go back to his work and enjoy that. Another cacti here. Um, another one here as well, which I do think looks very rude. So apologies. <laughs> for that i don't know why it's grown like that but yeah it doesn't look overly um good i'm not gonna lie um this is my azizi plant that was in my hallway and it started to look a bit sad and i think it just wasn't getting enough light um as much as they can handle low light for a while they do like it a little bit brighter than the hallway that i had it in so i'm just popping it here for a bit of tlc really apologize the clothes in the background um you know at home today so doing some bits and bobs but yeah, and then we've got these beautiful um, fiddly fig cuttings here. So they, yeah, I mean, this one, it's got some major rusting going on. If you know what that is, please let me know. I don't know why it's doing it. Yeah, that's that, basically. This guy here is doing a lot better, and it's really starting to grow. Um, this, Both of these were just two leaves when I potted them up and rooted them and everything. So, yeah, this one's obviously doing a lot better. Um, I'm trying to get it to grow up a little bit more before I get rid of it or move it on. So, yeah. Um, and then last but not least, I've got two cuttings here. The one at the back there is a um, cutting which needs a bit of water in it. Um, that's actually two spider plant babies. Just chucking it in some water and seeing what it's doing there. And then this is actually a baby from my Trio Star. So he's doing okay. He did get, I had him a bit too close to the light and he did get quite burnt. So I'm hoping that he's doing a little bit better there because he's sort of sheltered by this. And then my beautiful jade plant. Now I got given this uh, much smaller by my nan and it's doing so well. Um, I mean, I don't know if you can see all that new growth and everything. But yeah, absolutely loving life. So he sits in the window, gets lots of sun. Perfect. And then I've got another um, Monstera Adinsonii here. I've just recently turned it round because these were getting a bit too burnt in the sun. So I'm hoping it's going to do a little bit better here. Um, but yeah, I've recently taken some cuttings from it. Those were the cuttings that you saw back through there. But yeah. Right then guys, I'm really sorry if that was a bit of a long tour, but I hope you enjoyed a tour of my living room and my kitchen today. Um, like I said, next week I will do another tour for you of the upstairs. I really enjoy doing these tours and showing you all my plants, so I hope it wasn't too boring and I didn't sort of blab on for too long, but yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really does help me continue to do these videos um, and give me a thumbs up, which obviously helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.